On this year, 3rd of May, several Instagram users posted stories containing screenshots of chats from Instagram chat room called Boys Locker Room. This chat room was focused to share nudity of underage girls, body shaming and flood shaming them, and planning of retaliatory gang rape. And around the same time, a subreddit called r slash SRM Beauties was also exposed on social media which also focused on male students sharing news of women from that particular university. Why is she... <sighs> This is too long. You know the video, the length of this video will be long. Plus I got a canker sore on my lip. It, it's hard to pronounce all these big difficult words, okay? You hold my f***ing lip. I know you guys are about to hate this right now, but tell. Uh, it's there and like, I got two. But what can I do is, while I'm reading, I can show you this pictures when you can pause this video and read them enough of the chit chats i'm sure most of you guys have heard of it the boys locker room on the internet of course you guys all use internet i'm just gonna like you know close the curtains <laughs> i don't want anyone creeping out on me i don't want anyone stalking me the point is these students were found in delhi doing this act and misusing internet and they got exposed and according to this post they say these incidents are far from rare last december eight students from ib mumbai school were suspended for talking about raping girls in their class hashtag gangbang and homophobia i mean what do we have to say here i know if this is true this is false but like this happen in this world it's quite natural i mean it's not good but it's natural it, it happens and what's going on with people's head they do this stuff this is disgusting these activities happen but mostly in india and nepal respectively that's the issue to be fixed yet what i'm trying to say is raping is bad right this is like one kind of social crime but these people are planning you know like creating a community for like i don't know this is f up. I'm going to show you one video which will clearly tell you about the whole situation. Hi guys, if you don't already know what's going on, a bunch of kids in Delhi were found with a group chat on Instagram in which they degraded women in every way possible. They objectified them, body shamed them, humiliated them, edited their images, as well as shared private conversations and private photos. They also made plans to rape. Now, in those photos were photos of women that are underage, which means that's child porn. So what these people are doing is not only morally incorrect, but also illegal under IP section 292-293. Now, after being caught, these people have actually decided not to admit they're doing anything wrong, but further threatened to kill, humiliate, and rape the girls who exposed them. While those girls are busy dealing with all of that legally, since now the Delhi police is involved, I would like to take my time to discuss all of the questions that you guys might have. One comment I've been seeing a lot is based around victim blaming, which we all know we're really good at. I didn't realize we were all sitting around reviewing a kidda performance. Is that what we're doing? If not, then it's not equivalent to all of the disgusting things that took place in that group chat. So that is cancelled. Then there are also people saying, Rip kia to na? Ununa rip kia? I'm so sorry, I didn't realize you wanted us to come and watch. So what you're saying is you wanted us to wait until it had already happened and then for us to join you and say Tali ek khatsa nahi bachti. Jad rape ho janda When the rape is already done, we say rape kaise ho gaya? Aise ho gaya. Aapki aankho ke saamne ho gaya. Then you say, Ladki ne kya pehna da? Haan, makes sense. Kahan ghoom ri di? Of course. Rape aise ho gaya. <laughs> nahi, rape. Another really good one, and by good I mean disgusting and shameful, are the comments claiming that these two girls are doing all of this for fame and attention. One, they were already famous before all of this happened. Two, I think you may be too young to use social media, or you just don't realize the difference between you and the girls. Whatever their reason may be, they're still standing up for what's right. And they're really standing up for what's right. And what you're doing is sitting there diverting attention from what's actually happened just to speak up against these girls. So I think you may need to reevaluate where you come from and what you stand for. This one I actually personally got as well. People were saying to me, it's Javakne, they're kids. These are the same kids that threatened other kids that they will rape them if they don't send them news. There's also people defending them by saying that everyone has these group chats. I would like to personally say, I don't have a group chat in which we degrade men or women. And if you are in a group chat in which stuff like this happens or you know other people that are in these group chats, you are in the wrong environment and you need to remove yourself immediately. This is your time to shine. I would love to see what you guys are doing. Are you creating awareness for what's right? Are you educating people around you and spreading good information? Or are you victim blaming? So yeah, 
that was that see almost did all my job clap one hand two hand well i think that punjabi action though that group chat well i think i mean that, that that was a lot to process i get i get it guys but like this is important you know just do the right thing time to jump on another topic yeah i know the internet internet has figured it out the internet is the next detective i found about another crazy thing i mean not me a good friend of mine for you guys i love following him on instagram he sent me these pics and i was like what really i don't know if these all are true you know i'm i'm like depending on this different accounts different sites a four year old girl in a dramatic play area of her preschool begins swaying her hips and singing baby i'm your slave i'll let you whip me if i misbehave when her teacher goes over to talk to her about it she volunteers that she learned the song from her eight year old sister after doing a bit of research the teacher discovers that the words a highly popular justin timberlake song that is straight up bad parenting all the parents out there all the like you know i get it you have to be more than your children have to be more than your children not supposed to be playing on grounds playing sand and shit mm. but you know i don't think it's the right time for them to use internet at that age if you let them you, you should probably like you know there are settings for kids on the internet services i believe they are because they are here on mine and there's another one this i don't know for hog guy memes group or something fuck me right fucking now holy fuck was still the end girl oh my god the way he dot 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 watch i won't tell fuck me you muscular human fuck me right fucking now his pants are dropped and he grabs his dick i mean this time for dick i i suppose he grabs his dick confidently in front of everyone turn me on a little i wanted to fuck this is said like this is from girls locker room or something this might be true this might be photoshop i don't know the internet is fucking weird these are pictures i you know i don't want to read all of them i will be displaying this on the screen but this is like fucking mad chote story bani aa raha hai na i know what's written in this i better zoom it because it's like too small for my eyes <laughs> These screenshots were sent to me by a girl who was a part of this group and I have been told there are millions of such groups which are by women for women saying dick pics shirtless pictures of guys the guys on Instagram including me rating them talking about the size of their arms dick prints how they look while choking their neck etc etc the imagination is horrible out there i'm not trying to attack anyone particular just wanted to put it out there that if you are a woman who thinks all women are noble you're highly mistaken child if you were taught boys are wrong but girls are always right then you got to you, you got to find new parents new new guides i guess we all are humans like boys are not demons girls are not goddess all girls are not bitches and all guys are not boys let's be fucking honest in every part you know we have the negative we have the positive i think that's what makes the universe balance you know you get my point right and there are a lot of people saying that this case this uh, whole shit is fake they are just doing this for followers they are just doing this for views whatever they might be true i mean i'm not taking any sides of like who's telling the truth who's like telling uh, you know i'm not like taking any sides of both of them what i am trying to say is shit like this happened i mean this is no surprise even if this is fake all of this is fake shit like this happened there are legit groups on the internet like even in nepal even here like we have kanras we we know right we nepali people obviously we know maybe we have been on one you know past it's all about that bad company it's all about a bad influence but the heroes are those who get out of it let's remove ourselves from those groups it's now late yet you always get a second chance unless you fuck up life is all about second chances until and unless you fuck up let's not like you know lead ourselves through this let's not follow the wrong path you guys know why why it's called rape right even if you are married if you force your partner for sexual desire then that is also known as a rape you don't have to be college kids school kids all that shit to attempt a rape i mean i'm not saying you guys to attempt a rape but you know you you got my concept if you are forcing someone for your sexual desire doesn't matter if you are a girl if you are a boy he she might not be your boyfriend girlfriend but my point is if you are forcing for your selfishness then that is considered as a rape so 
find yourself a partner who will agree you both you both agree you both do your thing it's not worry also if both of you agree and you do your thing and post it online then that is a total you guys are not porn stars you guys are not not running some porn industry right don't do that i'm sure you guys got my point and i would also like to talk about the death of a guy from boys locker room i just found out he killed himself because he was getting all these criticisms even his friends and family members did not support him he was like i don't know i don't know what to believe on the internet anymore because internet has always been weird and like you know the good side bad side truth false this post was basically trying to say like this internet people like without any proof hated this guy like attacked this guy with with their opinions i guess if this guy actually kill himself then rest in peace without any proof you cannot at attack that guy you know i don't know if they found the proof or not if they were i don't know about this indian situation happening if you guys know please let me know in the comment below you can't really judge a person without any proof i know those guys are out there you know creepy guys who who are talking smack about girls they are girls talking smack about guys but are you guys sure this guy is the one who who i are you guys sure that this guy is one of them this guy might be in that group but like you know this guy might be neutral i don't know i'm just saying also this post was like saying let the court figure it out don't be a judge you don't have the degrees to judge anyone and that is low key true to ketile jun ketile the like report kar rahe the the girl who reported uh, like you know this guy raped me who said that had no proof there are bigger like problems in life why are these people creating another big problems report one then not legally report but social media ma ute gareko thyo after a man of committed suicide that god did not even have a mercy on him plus she was saying he was under pressure that's not her fault she should have some mercy in it if she is in the right spot and if she is a good human being then like she she should have mercy if she is not ready if she is not willing to speak in front of the authorities but she is okay to talk about it online internet worldwide that means she is kind of wrong in it she is just trying to trap him or something in it i, I don't know i don't know about that i'm not blaming all the girls out there if she was shy she would never talk it on the internet as well i'm not saying you should be shy you should not hide uh, someone is assaulting you someone's trying to rape you but you should be open about it anyways i don't know it's like life is so fucking complicated plus the internet right now is like you know has been <laughs> defined as another different source internet was like kind of friendly for everyone even friendly for for introvert people but the the man the definition of like everything including internet is like different today i think she might be right but also manav might might be innocent you guys please don't hate on me i'm i'm not i'm not trying to be a hater for anyone but even if you hate me still i don't fucking care you can hate on me i don't care don't get me wrong as the rest of you as the rest of you human being including this locker room guys they are human beings as well obviously we i all of you watching all of us are human being even animals have sex why can't we i mean that's how our generation works right it's okay to have sexual thoughts it's okay to be sexual it's okay to be sexually attracted sexually active if we don't do sex if if we don't focus on sex then i think that's the end of humanity and that's when the robots will run the world Earth is a li living planet. I mean, no offense to all the robots out there. Robot is a cool gadget. Robot is a cool invention. But like you know, that was created by humans. Having sexual thoughts is okay. Don't be ashamed of like having sexual thoughts. Everyone has sex with all. Even your teachers. Even your, your parents. I, 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 <laughs> that's how we are born. Don't be ashamed of that. I think personally, I think what really makes us and those locker room guys, you know. apart i think you know sex sex should be open i know what's your opinion on that it's okay to be shy don't be open about sex you can be shy that's okay but you can't be shy and at the same time you cannot attempt these things secretly these things happen keep in mind one of the reasons why people like do these things is because they are not open about sex i think it's really good to be open about everything because the thing you keep inside you want to do that and you get so desperate that 
you might attempt rape be conscious to that uh, focus on that also everything has its limits i i think it i take it that way because like you know without limitations there is like nothing no, nothing exists without limitation probably space but like i'm sure there is a limit somewhere out there <laughs> you 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 can't really force it you can't push the limits you can't you can force anyone i mean limit is like a rubber band it is flexible right it is flexible obviously but it has its own limit as well while you stretch while you keep stretching it it will it will stretch obviously but at one point it will break it will fucking break it will break and it will hurt yourself i know if that makes sense but i, I i'm i'm going to show you a demonstration right now let's call it a limit right limit limitation kancha not limit no let's call this a sexual limit let's stretch it it will stretch it will stretch it will stretch and at one point any time now fuck. <sighs> mother fuck. you get it right sorry for a bad joke sorry for a bad example but loki it's hurting me it's gonna hurt yourself it's gonna hurt the rubber it's gonna hurt your thoughts basically it's gonna hurt everyone yeah that's my thought on that let's be positive let, let, let's not go on a bad company let's focus ourselves from what we are watching what we are following i guess that's important let's talk about sex openly and let's masturbate till the death and also don't don't, don't post your private shit online don't send it to your boyfriend especially or your girlfriends no one can be trusted you know what Don't film with the first place. Keep your shit private. You know, keep it in your memory, not on your phone memory. Let's make sex a fun thing, not this disgusting forceful thing. I know how many dislikes I'm going to get <laughs> by this speech. Ah, it was good.